Hello and welcome to the DSP Leaders Summit on the Cloud Native Telco. It's Tuesday, the 22nd of September, day one of our three-day summit. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and joining me is Ray Lemaitre, Editorial Director of Telecom TV. We've created a focused, no-nonsense program, and in a moment we will be previewing what to expect from some of today's discussions. This year's summit is running over three days, as I mentioned, Tuesday through to Thursday, online here on Telecom TV. We have interviews and panel discussions with industry experts from telcos and from the vendor ecosystem, but we also want to involve you. And so we have a live Q&A program starting at 4.30 p.m. UK time today. Ray, good morning to you. Looking forward to the summit. Absolutely. Anything that is no nonsense is right up my street. And of course, cloud native, one of the biggest buzzwords, buzz terms around in the moment. Um, and everybody's in on it, whether you're a systems integrator, an operator, a vendor, you name it, uh, it's hot for everybody. So and we've got a great selection of speakers uh, for this summit. So really looking forward to it. Well, last year's theme was what is the cloud native telco? We were starting from first principles, really. This year it's moved on. Now it's more let's get on with it because that was the message that, that came out of last year's summit. Um, and we look at how to become a cloud native telco and, and try and investigate the best strategies for success. And today we're very much building on last month's DSP Leaders Focus, which looked at the ongoing evolution of NFV. And of course, you can view those videos on our NFV channel. But Ray, our kickoff panel discussion today looks at how telcos can build on their existing NFV investment as they move towards cloud native. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, there's been so much effort and time uh, and strategic imperative put into virtualization over the years by the operators um, that this is A, something they don't want to abandon, but B, you know, it very much creates a, a platform for development as they shift into cloud native, because I think as we found out recently during our NFV summit, uh, that the, the two aren't distinct. It's not NFV and then you go cloud native. It is an evolution. Uh, cloud native is, is, is the next step and part of the whole virtualization strategy. Um, so lessons have been learned, I think, during the, the early NFE years. And of course, NFE doesn't stop now, it carries on. Um, uh, and I think we're going to hear quite a lot about how this kind of experience uh, is helping operators to start embrace cloud native um, associated technologies, but also processes. Yeah, absolutely. And we've also got the, the brand new chairman of the Etsy NFE ISG joining us. On, on that panel. And also, Ray, I think you nailed it by saying, you know, you've got to build on NFE as, as a platform for innovation, a platform for development. And, and we're going to touch more on, on platforms on day three of the summit. But to start the summit today, Ray, you interviewed Kevin Schatzkammer, didn't you? Um, the Digital Transformation Officer for Telecom at Google Cloud, although many will remember him from his recent role at Dell. Yes, I mean, Kevin's a, a pretty well-known name in the industry. Um, but I think it's quite interesting to note that he's not the only person that's made the, the leap from uh, you know, one side of the fence and, and into the hyperscaler environment. We've seen a, a number of uh, known individuals from the, the, the telecom or communications networking industry make that move. I mean, there was uh, Axel Klauberg went from Deutsche Telekom. Uh, recently, Rabbi Abdul has gone from uh, Vodafone and into the, the hyperscaler environment. And uh, George Nazi, who's uh, held a number of roles at, at operators and integrators over the years, has made that leap as well. And that's just a few names. Hundreds of people have been hired from the what you might call the telecom industry to go and work for, uh, you know, AWS or Google Cloud or Azure or some of the other companies to bolster their telecoms team so they can better understand what is required. Uh, from the, the the public cloud platforms to fulfill the needs of the next generation networking for the the telecoms operators, but also how to uh, to house the applications that the vendors uh, are developing. Um, so Kevin is a really interesting example. Uh, he talked about his new role, and you know he's he's never short of an opinion or two. 
and uh, and shared his views on some of the the key trends ongoing in the industry. Uh, he's always a great interview. Well, before um, all our viewers dive into today's content, a, a final reminder that we do want to hear from all of you. We have a live Q and A panel. It's at four thirty p.m. UK time. Now that's 5.30 Central European time or the very early 8.30 a.m. Pacific time if you're in the US. Please use the contact forms on the website to get in touch and send us your questions because we really do need your input. Ray and I will be there and we're going to be joined live by a number of guests from Telefonica, Deutsche Telekom, Colt, Telia, VMware, they're all there. Um, and we need your questions. So please, again, do get in touch and join us. You can also use Twitter at DSP Leaders or LinkedIn, where you'll find us at Telecom TV. And don't forget that you can view our extensive video content, plus the latest news analysis from our editorial team at telecomtv.com slash DSP. Simple as that. We'll be back later today for the live Q&A and look forward to hearing what you think about the cloud-native telco. Until then, goodbye.